Why does writing the results section of a scoping review feel like a daunting task? Is it the sheer volume of information to synthesize? Or maybe it's the need to articulate findings in a clear, compelling manner. Regardless of the reason, crafting this section can indeed be a challenge. But fear not. Today, we unravel the mystery behind writing an effective results section for a scoping review. Before diving in, it's crucial to understand what a scoping review is. A scoping review, much like a systematic review, is a form of research synthesis. However, it differs in its purpose. While a systematic review answers specific research questions, a scoping review maps the existing literature in a field of interest. Now, on to the main event, the results section. The results section is where you present your findings. It's the heart of your scoping review. Here, you're expected to deliver a comprehensive yet digestible overview of the existing body of literature. The first step in writing this section is organizing your findings. Start by grouping the studies based on common themes, methodologies, or outcomes. This will not only make your work easier, but also help readers comprehend your review better. The second step is summarizing each group of studies. Remember, your aim is not to present each study individually, but to provide an overview. Highlight the key findings, the methodologies employed, and any gaps in the research. The third step is critical analysis. Here you assess the quality and relevance of the studies. You also identify patterns, trends, and gaps in the research. This step requires a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of your field of study. The fourth and final step is the presentation of your findings. Use clear and concise language. Make use of tables, charts, and diagrams to illustrate your points. Remember, your goal is to communicate your findings effectively to your readers. In summary, writing the results section of a scoping review involves four key steps. Organizing your findings, summarizing each group of studies, critically analyzing the studies, and presenting your findings. Remember, the results section is more than just a summary of studies. It's an opportunity to provide a comprehensive overview of the existing literature, highlight gaps in the research, and set the stage for future studies. It's your chance to contribute to the ongoing dialogue in your field. So don't shy away from the challenge. Embrace it and let your work shine.